college football season, unlike any other due to COVID-19, hopefully everyone is staying safe and will have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. However, now with the regular season over, it is now time for college football bowl season to begin. These are, in fact, my 2020-2021 college football bowl game predictions. Thank you for tuning in and listening. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe, as always, on social media. Links in the description below with that thumbs up button. Share hashtag college football. Chat questions and comments, always greatly appreciated as well. Without further ado, we'll get into college football bowl game predictions for the upcoming bowl slate. But due to COVID-19, college football won't have the usual 40-plus bowl games this upcoming bowl season. 20-plus teams have opted out, which has resulted in about 15 or so bowl games to be canceled. They will not take place this year. The teams that have opted out include Arizona State, Boise State, Boston College, Florida State, Georgia Tech, Kansas State, Louisville, Maryland, Michigan State, and Penn State, all out of the Big Ten, Pitt, San Diego State, SMU, Stanford, UCLA, USC, along with Utah, all out of the Pac-12, Virginia and Virginia Tech, along with Washington and Washington State. The 16 official canceled bowl games, Birmingham Bowl, Frisco Bowl, the Guaranteed Rate Bowl that was formerly known as the Insight Bowl, along with the Cheez-It Bowl. However, the Cheez-It Bowl still taking place this year. They are now sponsoring the former Champs Sports Bowl, along with the Camping World Bowl, in Orlando, so the Cheez-It Bowl still on, but just relocating the Bahamas Bowl along with the Celebration and New Fenway Bowl from Fenway Park in Boston, Mass. Canceled along with the Hawaiian Holiday Bowl, Independence Bowl, Las Vegas Bowl, New Los Angeles Bowl as well, Military Pinstripe, the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl, the Quick Lane Bowl up in Motown, Red Box Bowl out in Santa Clara, along with the Sun Bowl, have all officially been canceled. So now, moving forward with the 25 to around 30 bowl games with a few more that could potentially very well get canned before they even kick off from now until January the 2nd. Culture Ball Playoff semis will, in fact, be on New Year's Day, January the 1st with the Rose and Sugar Bowls. However, the Rose Bowl moving from Pasadena to Arlington, Texas. So technically the Cotton Bowl will host two bowl games this year with the Rose and Cotton respectively. Alabama will play Notre Dame in the Rose Bowl, one versus four in the culture ball playoff, as will Clemson as the two seed, your ACC champion Clemson Tigers face off versus Ohio State once again for the third time in the past five years in the college football playoff. One versus four, Alabama as the SEC champs taking on Notre Dame, who lost to Clemson in the ACC title game just this past weekend. That's the Rose Bowl from Dallas, which for the first time since World War II, the Rose Bowl not taking place in Southern California. We'll also have Clemson and Ohio State, two versus three. ACC Big Ten champions squaring off once again, as mentioned, in the college football playoff here in 2020. There's a little speculation on whether or not Ohio State, along with Notre Dame, deserve to be in. However, they got in. Uh, Texas A&M at five will play in the Orange Bowl versus North Carolina. That's a very powerful New Year's Six Bowl game as will the runner-up in the SEC title game against Alabama. The Florida Gators will take on the Big 12 champion Oklahoma Sooners in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. But we'll get into the rest of the uh, New Year's Six coming up uh, momentarily. We'll uh, begin, as we uh, always do, uh, with, in fact, the first college bowl bowl game of the season. Uh, Bowl season actually beginning a, a few days later than normal, Monday First day of winter, December the 21st. Normally, bowl games would have begun this past Saturday with a a full slate. Uh, However, of course, with the uh, year of 2020 and coronavirus, COVID-19, as mentioned, hopefully everyone's staying safe. Uh, The culture bowl 
season. The schedule has been backed up. Some teams played only a handful of games. Some teams played a full schedule. That's why there was some speculation on Ohio State only playing uh, seven games as a Big Ten champion. Do they deserve to get into the college football playoff? But uh, they were the number three seed. They're in. They'll play Clemson once again, as mentioned, as will Alabama play Notre Dame in a national championship rematch from 2012 in the semis. And the two winners, of course, will meet for the national championship on January the 11th down in South Beach, Miami, Florida. And we'll get to that game, of course, last. I'll predict um, who I think will win the two semis uh, momentarily, and then uh, we'll give a a final winner uh, for the national title as well as we'll send off college football. Uh, for another eight to nine months, and uh, it's going to be a, as always, a very long off season from now until the start of next year in 2021. Hopefully, by that point, we'll all be back to normal and back in the stands and uh, attending, enjoying, watching culture ball, the NFL, all sports in general. By that point in time, but uh, we'll begin with the uh, first ever. Myrtle Beach Bowl to kick off my 2020-2021 college football bowl game predictions. We'll see Appalachian State in North Texas down in Conway, South Carolina on the campus of Coastal Carolina. First ever Myrtle Beach Bowl on the Till Turf before we get the famous Idaho Potato Bowl out in Boise on the Blue Turf. So the First two bowl games of the season, technically on different color fields than a normal playing surface in the sport of football. But uh, App State, along with Coastal Carolina, they've sort of turned in more so App State than Coastal because of Coastal's um, first-year dominance here as an FBS. They're going to be facing off against Liberty in the Cure Bowl for their first ever Culture Bowl bowl game. That's actually a rematch from earlier this season that did not take place because Liberty had to cancel due to COVID issues. That's when BYU replaced the Liberty Flames on short notice, came to, played at Coastal Carolina, and lost the Chanticleers in arguably one of the best games, if not the best game of the season so far in college football. But App State's turned into the Boise State of the East. Boise State, unfortunately, um, not going to a bowl game uh, this season. Year unlike any other. uh, Hasn't been normal, to say the least, by any means uh, whatsoever. Uh, But here we are. We've still had football games uh, from from start to finish. And um, now we're in the bowl season. So Myrtle Beach Bowl, Appalachian State, and North Texas Give me the Mountaineers from Boone, North Carolina. Shout out to Church and Combs as well. Uh, I think the uh, App State Mountaineers will put a dent in North Texas and defeat the Mean Green to win their sixth consecutive bowl game and win the first ever Myrtle Beach Bowl here in 2020. Next, the famous Idaho Potato Bowl from Boise, Idaho, along with the Boca Raton Bowl down in Boca, So Boise State and Florida Atlantic hosting these two bowl games. However, it'll be Tulane and Nevada in the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Give me the Wolfpack. And then Central Florida BYU could very well turn into a shootout from Boca. Cougs, 10-1 on the year. Only lost to Coastal Carolina, as mentioned, on short notice. They scheduled the game on a Thursday. Played it that Saturday. Came down to the wire. Mormon overnights, so give me BYU. We also have in the first week of Culture Bowl bowl games before Christmas, Louisiana Tech and Georgia Southern in the New Orleans Bowl Wednesday afternoon. Normally this game is a, a Friday or a Saturday night contest. However, Wednesday afternoon at 3 o'clock on ESPN. Dogs are the best animal breed out there. Louisiana Tech Bulldogs over Georgia Southern in the New Orleans Bowl. Tigers and Owls with Memphis and Florida Atlantic in the Montgomery Bowl from Montgomery, Alabama. Memphis last year lost to Penn State in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic. Cincinnati this year's non-Power 5 rep in the New Year's Six. 
They'll face Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. But Memphis and FAU, arguably another uh, potential game that could turn into a shootout. Coin flip, honestly. Both teams have three losses. Give me Florida Atlantic to pick up their sixth win, as Memphis already has seven. That's the hard thing with uh, the, the schedule this year, with how the season's gone. You know, Memphis here playing ten games before a bowl game. Florida Atlantic only eight. Both teams have three losses, but Memphis is seven and three compared to FAU's five and three record. Now, everyone was eligible for a bowl game this bowl season. Um, however, as mentioned there earlier, uh, twenty plus teams opted out, won't be playing. They'll move on and start fresh for next year, get a early head start. But normally you need six wins to go to a bowl game. And normally when you get six wins, that's a good season, regardless of who you are. Yeah, very well could be a disappointment, just depending on how things went. But, um, yeah, give me Florida Atlantic over over Memphis. Honestly, doing all these picks uh, for my college football bowl game predictions here, off the top of my head, gut instincts, uh, just due to the fact uh, the bowl schedule was just released uh, on Sunday, two weeks later than usual, but as mentioned, with stuff backed up, here we are right before Christmas uh, with bowl games beginning and bowl season going to be done and over with uh, before we know it, and we'll be on to 2021, and we're going to have twice the fun in 2021, no doubt about it, but give me Florida Atlantic over Memphis in the Montgomery Bowl. New Mexico Bowl from Frisco, Texas, not Albuquerque. We'll have to see if Heisenberg does show up, though, as a special uh, guest ref. It'll be Hawaii against Houston. Hawaii is 4-4. Four and four. Houston is 3-4. and four. Now, there's a few teams with only two wins playing in a bowl game this year. First time ever, as South Carolina and Mississippi State, both with two wins apiece, will in fact be playing in their respective bowl games, and we'll get to those shortly. But Rainbow Warriors over the Cougs in this one. Give me Hawaii. That's Christmas Eve. On Christmas Day, the Camellia Bowl with Marshall and Buffalo. Marshall's stumbled as of late. Both teams actually just lost their conference championships as Marshall lost to UAB in the Conference USA title game. Buffalo lost to Ball State in the MAC championship. Marshall had started out 7 0. They've lost two straight. 50 years since the plane crash. They get to eight wins. They defeat Buffalo and Lance Lepoid, who was a candidate for the Illinois job. However, that went to former Wisconsin Arkansas head coach in Brett Bielema as he re enters the Big Ten. Speaking of the two win South Carolina team that fired their former head coach and Will Muschamp, they have now hired the son of former Virginia Tech Hokie head coach and Shane Beamer to take over the reins. It'll be South Carolina and UAB in the Gasparilla Bowl Saturday, December the 26th, day after Christmas. UAB, as your Conference USA champions, as mentioned, defeating Marshall on the road for their second conference title in three years after suspending the program five years ago. Give me UAB to beat the holy hell out of the South Carolina Gamecocks. Louisiana and University of Texas San Antonio. Raging Cajuns get to 10 wins, win the first responder bowl. Western Kentucky and Georgia State. Honestly, a, a low key matchup there. Both teams with five wins. This is the Lending Tree Bowl. Didn't take Georgia Southern over Louisiana Tech. However, I'll take Georgia State over Western Kentucky to win that bowl game. Army sitting at 9-2. and two. They don't have a bowl game right now. We'll see what happens there. Um, if, in fact, as mentioned, we have a, a cancellation of some sorts or more teams even opt out, um, you know, they could be a replacement somewhere. Only time is going to tell as uh, this is, in fact, being recorded uh, the day after cultural bowl games were, in fact, revealed. So uh, we'll... Uh, Hope to get this uh, recorded and out right here on YouTube uh, in the uh, upcoming hours. And hopefully you're enjoying and hopefully you'll share on social media. But Liberty and Coastal Carolina then in the Cure Bowl from Orlando. That's Saturday Night Football 
on ESPN. 9-1 and Liberty taking on an 11-0 Coastal Carolina team that's ranked 12th in the nation. If Cincinnati would have lost to Tulsa in the American Athletic Conference Championship game this past weekend, Coastal Carolina then would have been the non-Power 5 representative in the New Year's Six. Uh, whether or not they'd be taking on Georgia in the Peach Bowl or not, I don't know. Bowl games, of course, at that point in time, very well could have changed. Uh, but uh, it's Liberty and Coastal Carolina, a game that's supposed to take place a few weeks back. Canceled Coastal Carolina, uh, rescheduled Liberty with BYU. They defeated the Cougs, as mentioned. Give me Coastal Carolina to get to 12 wins for the first time ever in program history and win their first ever Culture Bowl bowl game as well against the Liberty Flames. Hugh Freeze, Liberty head coach from her Ole Miss uh, coach, very well could be coaching in his last game at Liberty, even though he just signed an extension. Uh, culture ball along with the NFL coaching carousel ramping up. Uh, if he leaves Liberty, it's uh, more so not going to uh, – so we're thinking at least back to the SEC, potentially to Auburn after they fired Gus Malzahn, but only time is going to tell. We also have uh, the cheez Bowl down in Orlando. So Orlando, as always, getting three bowl games uh, with the Cure Bowl. The cheez Bowl being rebranded and relocated. Uh, and then, of course, the Citrus Bowl on New Year's Day. Uh, that'll see Auburn and Northwestern in your classic Big Ten SEC showdown. Auburn, however, without Gus Malzahn, Kevin Steele, the current interim Northwestern 14th ranked team in the nation at six and two, Auburn at six and four. So the difference there of a two game um, advantage for games played, of course, for Auburn uh, in the SEC beginning a month earlier than the Big Ten did late September compared to mid to late October. But we'll get to that game uh, coming up shortly. But yeah, give me uh, Coastal Carolina to defeat Liberty. And then also in Orlando, the following Tuesday, next Tuesday, December the 29th, as uh, we won't have any college football bowl games next Sunday the 27th, as NFL owns Sundays, we all know that. Uh, There will uh, be a uh, bowl game next Monday, though, from what I thought. I thought there was, maybe not. Uh, If there was, well, whatever bowl game it was, either got moved or canceled. So we move to Tuesday, so back-to-back bowl games in Orlando. It'll be Oklahoma State and Miami following that Liberty Coastal Carolina game, so they'll have a few days to get the field ready. Of course, they play on turf now, but back in the day when they had uh, regular grass, and if uh, weather was a factor, um, I remember when uh, Miami played Wisconsin a few days prior to Penn State facing off against LSU about a decade ago in the Citrus Bowl rain during the game the field was already shit as it was so it only got worse uh, as the game went on but um, it'll be Oklahoma State and Miami in the Cheez-It Bowl our first top 25 bowl game this bowl season with a Big 12 and ACC team Oklahoma State at 7-3 and Miami at 8-2 and Honestly, a toss-up. Oklahoma State, they started out strong. They haven't been consistent, though, as of late. They've lost a few. Miami, same boat. Um, Derek King, for a time there, thought looked like he was going to win the Heisman. Still should go to Trevor Lawrence, uh, whether it's going to go to uh, a non-quarterback for the first time in uh, a little over two and a half decades or not. We'll find out, but... Trevor Lawrence, along with uh, Kyle Trask, Justin Fields from Ohio State, uh, among some uh, others in contention for the Heisman Memorial Trophy that will be released early January before the national title game. Uh, about a month later than usual is about uh, yeah two weeks ago. That's when the Heisman would have been released. But, uh, of course, with everything all screwed up, here we are. Don't want to honestly pick Miami. I believe they're one and nine in their last ten bowl games, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, don't take my word on that, though. Oklahoma State, Mike Gundy. Now I know for a fact in their 16th consecutive bowl game, um, after he took over for Les Miles in Stillwater, Les Miles, of course, then went to LSU, uh, won a national title, got fired during the 2016 season in Baton Rouge at Oregon. Of course, uh, has taken over. 
Um, they are going to be firing their defense coordinator and former Nebraska Cornhusker and Youngstown State head coach Bo Pelini um, after one season at the helm, returning to LSU, um, which ultimately back in the day got him the Nebraska job. But um, LSU, you're defending national champions from last year, not in a bowl game this year after uh, imposing a uh, postseason ban uh, on themselves. So no LSU Tigers. Les Miles, of course, back in the Big 12 with Kansas. Surprised he hasn't been fired. That Kansas program should honestly drop down to double A. Um, they'd probably have more success, but they are in the Big 12, and they've always been in the Big 12. So they'll be staying in the Big 12 for the time being moving forward, you would think. But as Vanderbilt and a few other teams nationwide around all these conferences. They're the doorstop of the Big 12. So, not so much for Oklahoma State or Miami. Miami's, of course, gotten back um, from down in the dumps and uh, into the top 25, but not a good uh, bowl resume as of late. So, with the uh, consistent success Mike Gundy's had with Oklahoma State, give me the Cowboys over the Hurricanes. A rivalry renewed... Speaking of the Big 12, in the Valero Alamo Bowl, it'll be Texas and Colorado next Tuesday night at 9 o'clock on ESPN, December the 29th. Of course, Colorado left the conference for the Pac-12. They sit at 4-1, and one, their lone loss to Utah. Utah, they started out slow but finished strong. Texas sitting at 6-3, and three, ranked in the top 25, Tom Herman, job was on the line there so we thought he's going to be staying put in Austin hook him give me Texas over Colorado next in the Dukes Mayo Bowl all these damn sponsors bowl games with the names at least the rights change year in and year out it seems like uh, we got to go the whole way to the end of the alphabet uh, for this one with uh, an ACC Big Ten showdown in football and as of course recently we just had the ACC Big Ten Challenge in college basketball uh, but it, it will be Wake Forest at 4-4 four four, taking on Wisconsin at 3-3 three and three. Wednesday the next to last day of the year here in 2020 on ESPN Duke's Mayo's Bowl formerly known as Meineke Car Care Bowl and Belk Bowl changing the name up once again on Wisconsin give me the Badgers they started out strong sort of lost track um, midway through the season, they had a, a few COVID issues, didn't play for almost a month, um, as did a, a few other schools. But um, it's just how, of course, 2020 has been. So a mismatch, in my opinion. Uh, from what I've heard, though, I think a lot of people were giving uh, Wake Forest more of a chance than uh, usual. But, hey, you won four games in a tough ACC with uh, Clemson once again in the college football playoff who they absolutely got destroyed by week one back, uh, seems like forever ago, early mid-September at home. But on Wisconsin, out of the Big Ten, give me the Badgers over the Demon Deacons. Speaking of the Big Ten with Iowa, Iowa 15th ranked team in the nation at 6-2, and two, taking on Missouri. This is a rematch from about a decade ago. It'll be the Iowa Hawkeyes, Missouri Tigers, their Big Ten SEC showdown in Nashville, Music City, USA, in the Music City Bowl. Kirk Ferentz, with his success in Iowa City, give me Iowa over Mizzou. Talk about that Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic with Florida and Oklahoma. Um, arguably the best New Year's Six game, not called College Ball Playoff Semi. Florida Gators and Oklahoma Sooners, flip coin, heads, Florida wins. Tails, they lose, vice versa for Oklahoma. Gators are going to be without Kyle Pitts, their tight end. He declared for the NFL already, so will not play. Oklahoma returning to North Texas, where they've had success year in and year out, winning Big 12 championships. This game could go either way. Uh, Florida currently right now is favored, but I'd expect that to change from now until, uh, of course, the time they kick off. Even... The way both teams played in their conference title games, Florida losing to Alabama, Oklahoma defeating Iowa State. Iowa State also got a New Year's Six. They're taking on Oregon in the Fiesta Bowl. Florida didn't look good in the first half. Came back a little too late. They almost knocked off Alabama, but 
wasn't a 61 minute ball game it was a 60 minute game and they lost in the final seconds Kyle Trask and Spencer Rattler two damn good quarterbacks Trask very well along with Rattler in the near future could very well be first round picks in the NFL but for this game Florida not having Kyle Pitts I think it's going to be an issue hopefully they're not throwing shoes all over the place but regardless if they do or not I think Oklahoma is going to defeat Florida and a national championship rematch from the 2008 season, I might add as well. So two New Year's Six games this year, uh, rematches from former national championship matchups over the past decade or so. But um, Boomer Sooner, give me OU over the Gators in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic, 8 o'clock next Wednesday night. We've got Tulsa, Mississippi State in the Armed Forces Bowl. And correct a mistake from earlier, Mississippi State with three wins, not two. They're three and seven. Uh, South Carolina is two and eight. But a two or a three-win team should not be playing a bowl game regardless of the situation. But it is 2020, so here we are. And especially with all the opt-outs from other teams, I understand it. You know, basically they were next in line and they're getting a bowl bid. Mississippi State is... Um, with uh, Mike Leach at the helm in his first year. Hell, they started off the year 1-0, and defeating the defending national champion LSU Tigers on the road in Death Valley. And since then, they've completely fell off the face of the earth. They're going to take on Tulsa, who kept with Cincinnati, almost beat the Bearcats in the American Athletic Conference championship game. They're 6-2. and two. Tulsa also lost to Oklahoma State, so that's their two losses. They almost beat the Cowboys, so... Uh, their two losses very well could have had them at 8-0 and, and in a New Year's Six Bowl game. Um, Ranking-wise, if you know they would have been ahead of Cincinnati at that point, because, yeah, they would have beat them. But you also had and do have Coastal Carolina sitting there at 11-0 uh, as your uh, 12th-ranked team in the country taking on Liberty in that rematch, as mentioned, that did not happen uh, with BYU replacing. But Tulsa will be living on Tulsa time with Tulsa, Mississippi State in the Armed Forces Bowl. Give me the Golden Hurricanes over the Bulldogs. Ball State and San Jose State in the Arizona Bowl. Ball State at 6-1. and one. They won the MAC last weekend against Buffalo. They're going to take on San Jose State, who's 7-0. and oh. They won the Mountain West. Coin flip here, too. I mean, we honestly do have a, a few damn good bowl games here, um, especially just... With all the cancellations, you wouldn't think that, but um, no. I'll digress, and we'll move ahead with a ton of good bowl games by the end of 2020, and then even on January 1, because that's when we have, as always, the uh, Citrus Bowl and then the two cultural ball playoff semis with the Rose and Sugar. So, and then they'll even get into January 2nd uh, with a, a few others with the Gator and Outback and then the Fiesta and Orange, but we'll get to those in a second. Ball State, San Jose State, flip a coin on this one. Give me San Jose State to get to 8-0. Uh, Brett Brennan uh, very well could be uh, coaching his final game at San Jose State as well. He's a hot commodity in the coaching carousel. Playing in the Arizona Bowl against Ball State out of the max. San Jose State's had to relocate over the past few weeks. They've had a home game. They haven't been home as the 49ers haven't either past month. But he could very well take over Arizona and become the next Wildcat head coach. And, hell, Arizona Bowl taking place on the campus of Arizona. So um, they'll uh, for sure get a look at him on New Year's Eve. And I'm going to take San Jose State. Give me the Spartans over the uh, Ball State Cardinals in the Arizona Bowl. West Virginia and Tennessee, AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Take me home, country roads, to Rocky Top, Tennessee. WVU Mountaineers, though, um, at 5 and 4, a little bit better than the Tennessee Vols. So give me WVU. Arkansas and Tennessee, Hogs and Frogs in the Texas Bowl to close out the year. Would love to pick Arkansas. We'll get on down to Arkansas eventually, but TC with Gary Patterson, just like with Kirk Ferentz and Iowa taking on Mizzou out of the SEC in the Music City Bowl. Give me TCU over Arkansas on New Year's Eve night before January 1 rolls around where we'll have the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Georgia and Cincinnati. Georgia go back to when they faced off against West Virginia, also in the Peach Bowl 
a number of years ago for the brand. Shout out to Pat McAfee and the boys. West Virginia beat the dogs, okay? They stomped the living dog shit out of them. And Cincinnati's going to give Georgia a run for their money, I think. Cincinnati 9-0, trying to get 10 wins. Cap off um, a season unlike any other, especially for them. They haven't really played a whole lot lately. And they sort of got screwed by the college football playoff, I thought. Georgia at 7-2. and two, uh, Second in the SEC East behind Florida because of the loss. And they also lost to Alabama. But I, I just think Georgia is a little too powerful. Give me the dogs over the Bearcats, but I'm not going to be shocked by any means whatsoever if, in fact, Cincinnati does, in fact, defeat Georgia in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl this year. Actually, next year, January the 1st, 2021. Citrus Bowl, Auburn and Northwestern. Auburn without Gus Malzahn, as mentioned. Pat Fitzgerald going to get looks, once again, potentially uh, for uh, a few major cultural ball openings. Maybe for Auburn, who knows, um, and even the NFL. But uh, Northwestern, yeah, they lost to Ohio State, Big Ten title game. Um, had them right where they wanted them at. Wildcats did against the Buckeyes. Ended up losing by 12, 22 to 10, but... Northwestern over Auburn in the Citrus Bowl. Before we get in the College Football Playoff semis, that'll be New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, excuse me, uh, following the Peach and Citrus Bowls. We'll go skip ahead to January the 2nd with the Gator, Outback, Fiesta, and Orange Bowls, and then the semis with the National Championship game to close this out. So thank you for listening. Hopefully you're enjoying. Hit the thumbs up button if you are. We've got NC State and Kentucky in the Gator Bowl. NC State's going to win that. Ole Miss and Indiana in the Outback Bowl. Ole Miss, very high-powered on offense. Lane Kiffin calling the shots. Taking on Indiana at 6-1. and one. They're 11th in the nation. Only loss was to Ohio State. They defeated a few top 25 teams when they faced them in Penn State, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Another Big Ten win over the SEC, hopefully. Give me the Hoosiers of Indiana over the old Miss Rebs in the Outback Bowl. Tom Allen's going to win Coach of the Year. Oregon, Iowa State in the Fiesta Bowl. Oregon coming in the season. Pac-12 champions last year. Won the Rose Bowl over Wisconsin. A little overrated, I thought. Pac-12, of course, didn't start until early, mid-November. They're 4-2. A few losses uh, here for the Oregon Ducks that never should have happened they should be 6-0 and they lost to Cal as they also did to Oregon State both losses after Thanksgiving however they also should have lost to Chip Kelly and UCLA uh, along with uh, Washington State there week two for them technically but because Washington has COVID issues the Huskies even though they won the Pac-12 North, Washington did not go to the Pac-12 title game. It was USC coming out of the South, taking on Oregon out of the North. And then Oregon defeated the USC Trojans and won the Pac-12 after not even winning their own division, for God's sakes. So with the win, they get a New Year's Six. They're going to be taking on the Iowa State Cyclones. And Iowa State, uh, a few losses for them too, but they... Split with Oklahoma, beat them at home earlier in the year, and then the Sooners got the best of them this past weekend, won the Big 12, or else Iowa State very well could have, who knows, uh, gotten the college football playoff. But they still had A&M along with Cincinnati ahead of them. So don't see that happening, but they still could have got a a different New Year's Six Bowl game rather than the Fiesta, but they're heading out to the desert. It's going to be Oregon and Iowa State in the Fiesta. Give me the Cyclones over the Ducks. Joe Moorhead's Oregon offense um, with Mark Cristobal signing an extension um, as his name came up for Auburn, among some others. Oregon's good, but like I said, just a little overrated, I think. Iowa State's going to win the Fiesta Bowl and defeat Oregon, I think, to cap off 2020 and then start strong for next year. And then we have Texas A&M and North Carolina in the Orange Bowl. Jimbo Fisher going to be taking on a former ACC team that he defeated year in and year out without Mac Brown at the helm, as Mac Brown has since returned to coaching. But Jimbo Fisher has since also left Florida State for the SEC, now Texas A&M, 
at 8-1. They only lost to the number one team in the nation in Alabama. They had the best point um, out of, I think, anyone to potentially get in the playoff at four, but they got gypped as well. They're sitting at five, outside looking in. They go to the Orange Bowl, and Jimbo's also won an Orange Bowl in his past with Florida State, defeating Michigan a few years back. Texas A&M, North Carolina, top 25 matchup here. Both these uh, last two games are with Fiesta and Orange. This game is going to be more of a shootout than the other, and a few of the others, I should say. I think Georgia-Cincinnati is going to be a, a defensive showdown. Uh, Georgia is just a little, you know, two-bit more powerful, though, as mentioned. a and is going to beat Carolina. Carolina, their three losses, uh, they stood with Notre Dame uh, along with Virginia and Florida State, but the Florida State loss along with the Virginia loss should never have happened. But Carolina can score points, okay? They put up 56 against Vautech. They put up 48 against NC State, 56 against Duke, 59 against Wake Forest, and then 62 on the road at Miami. Expect to shoot out with AM and Carolina, but the Aggies get the best of the Tar Heels. Culture Bowl playoff semis now. First, 4 o'clock ESPN on New Year's Day. Alabama, Notre Dame, and the Rose Bowl from Arlington, Texas because of the switch. Roll Tide, Notre Dame has not been relevant during bowl season in God knows how long, okay? Anytime they're in a situation like this with it being a very big bowl game, they get blown out. Alabama's Alabama. Saban has a Tide right where he wants them, right before the national championship game that he'll advance to once again. I'd be shocked, especially the way Notre Dame played against Clemson and lost 34 to 10. I'd be shocked if the Fighting Irish defeat the Tide in the Rose Bowl from Texas. Rematch in the 2012 national title game, as mentioned. But roll Tide all day. Alabama is going to the another national championship game. And for the most part, they're probably going to take on Clemson again. Clemson at two. They will take on the third-ranked 6-0 Ohio State Buckeyes. ACC Big Ten champions squaring off for the third time in the playoff over the course of the last five years, as mentioned. That'll be New Year's night, 8 o'clock on ESPN, as that'll follow the Rose Bowl. Rose and Sugar on New Year's Day. Would love to pick Ohio State out of the Big Ten. Since they won the national title, though, first year of the College Football Playoff back in 2014, yes, they've made the playoff a few times, but they haven't been able to get over the hump. They got shut out by Clemson back in 2016, a playoff game they should have never been in, I might add, as they didn't even win the Big Ten title that year. Penn State did. Penn State went to the Rose Bowl. Yes, of course, lost to USC, but Ohio State, because with them being Ohio State and name brand, as Penn State is as well, along with their name, Alabama and Clemson here, Ohio State got in. They got shut out 31 to nothing. And then last year, these two teams met in the Fiesta Bowl, came down to the final play of the game, Justin Fields threw an interception in the end zone. Clemson won, advanced to the national title before losing to LSU. Third time's a charm maybe for Ohio State against Clemson, losing the previous two. They haven't won a playoff game since defeating Oregon in the 2014-2015 Coach Bowl Playoff National Championship game. Bolton board material as well with Dabo Sweeney ranking Ohio State 11th in the coaches poll we'll see i just think clemson's a little too bit uh, more powerful than ohio state is 11 wins or 11 games played with a 10-1 record clemson without trevor lawrence took notre dame on the road to double overtime before losing by seven but they avenged that loss this past weekend and won the acc against the fighting irish who are also in the college football playoff there, so we very well could see Clemson-Notre Dame for the third time in the national title game come January 11th. However, I don't think so, and I don't think Ohio State's going to beat Clemson either. Once again, it's going to be Alabama and Clemson in the national championship game, this time from South Beach, Miami, Florida. They've met in Tampa. They've met in Phoenix. They've met in any which place you could possibly think of Hell, from here to Timbuktu, they've played a culture ball game against one another. 
they need to schedule a home and home is what they need to do uh, to face off in the regular season. But they'd say, well, hey, why would we do that when we can just, you know, win our other non-conference games that we schedule, you know, win out in the conference, win our conference championship game. As Ohio State's won four consecutive Big Tens, Clemson's won six straight ACC championships, you know, we'll meet in the playoff year in and year out. You know, third time in the past five years, second year in a row. I think Alabama's going to beat Notre Dame, and I think Clemson's going to beat Ohio State. So, OHIO, better luck next year. So then it would be Alabama, Clemson, and the national title game. Coin flip there, you know, both teams have defeated each other in the national championship, along with they met in the Sugar Bowl the one year in the semi. So they've met, I mean, that game's going to come down the wire if it happens, which I think it will. Final play of the game once again. You have uh, Trevor Lawrence and Mac Jones, who's also a Heisman candidate. Lawrence is going to be gone. He's going to be the number one pick next year in the draft. Both teams are very, very powerful. Saban has beaten Dabo, as Alabama's beat Clemson in the national title. But roles have been reversed. It's happened the other way around, too. Saban would be looking for his 25th national championship at Alabama in the past five years. This is a tough one. If we get Alabama-Clemson again, a lot of people are going to be mad. But in the end, it's going to be a damn good game. Now, if we get Alabama-Ohio State, I think the tide would roll over the Bucks, But Ohio State would for sure give them a run for their money. They just haven't been able to get over that hump since winning the national title. Until then, I don't think Ohio State's you know, going to be making it to the national title game. However, since they beat Penn State back on Halloween, yes, of course, as a Big Ten fan, I've been rooting for them to make the playoff. Whether or not they should have made the playoff or not, that's another story for another day. You know, who knows, maybe we get Clemson-Notre Dame again or we get um, Notre Dame-Ohio State. That'd be a rematch from the Fiesta Bowl a few years back. There's a few different options here, of course, with the probability of uh, these four teams winning the semis and, you know, making the national championship game. But I think it's going to be Alabama and Clemson. And then, with as good as Clemson is, I'd have to pick Alabama to win the national championship just because, I mean, both teams are as high-powered on offense and defense, along with special teams for that matter, too, than any other team out there. And, you know, talk right now, too, is, well, with as good as all these teams are and it's the same teams year in and year out, well, we didn't like the BCS even though we did. We want a playoff. Now we don't like the playoff. We should do something else. Well, and in any years, why not expand the playoff? You know, it's... A few more games, it's more money for you for the NCAA, as that's all they're worried about anyway. Why the hell not? But no, they keep it at four, and we get Alabama, Notre Dame, along with Clemson, Ohio State once again. So give me Alabama, give me Clemson, and give me the Tide to win another national championship. As uh, Saban would return to Miami, a place he called home for a few years in the NFL with the Dolphins before, of course, leaving the National Football League for Alabama before beginning this dynasty that's been going on almost a decade and a half now. Alabama-Clemson, Alabama over Clemson in the National Championship. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you for listening to my College Ball Bowl Game predictions. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe as always on social media. Links in the description below. College Football, NFL, and Pro Wrestling live reaction play-by-play streams. As always, live right here on YouTube as well. So keep an eye out for those. But um, we'll have to see how bowl game season goes from now until January 2nd and then January 11th, a little over a week off before the national title game, of course. But um, then we'd be on to 2021. Hopefully we'll have spring games. Uh, Hopefully we'll go back to normal by that point for the start of 2021 season in uh, late August early September, Uh, but um, yeah, that'll do it, so the 2021 college football season can't come any sooner, thank you for listening, hopefully you enjoyed, be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on social media, as always, links in the description below.